along that journey who have been some strong influences or mentors, if you like, that have sort of helped shape your, your philosophy and the way you go about it? Yeah, I've already mentioned Craig. So to me, and he's, he's probably one of the best um, diagnostic physios that, that I'm, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a really smart guy, astute. His skills are, uh, are fantastic. So I learned a lot <clears throat> working with, um, you know, just about being systematic and methodical in, in um, and then obviously there, there was a lot of treatment based work done there as well. Uh, Craig, Craig has been a big influence uh, on me. Uh, and once I started working in, in full-time sport, I worked with my Jones. I came over from the UK and took the, the uh, lead role. How did you come up with the topic and, and why you're passionate about uh, why physiotherapists could benefit from thinking more like an S&C? Yeah, well, I'm for a long time and um, I've been a physio for, for a while now and, uh, you know, I've done a lot of seen a lot of a approaches and use a lot of approaches um, myself and it probably wasn't made the jump into full-time professional sport that you really get exposed to strength and remember during my time at Port Melbourne like the boys sort of did some weights boys worked full-time they'd come mm. to training might do a few you know, a few beach gym was pretty rudimentary it's like most hotel gyms really it wasn't much their weights program or um, strength and conditioning program so they just try and, and then you make the jump into professional sport and obviously working um, seeing his approach to how important strength and conditioning was for I guess the physiotherapist listening in um, that perhaps are aware, maybe they have gone to a new club and there, there's a few athletes that are in that boat. Um, what have you found have been some effective um, ways of communicating to, to try and shift that towards self-practice or, or getting them their own routine down pat to prepare themselves to train rather than relying on yeah, treatment? Well, it depends how big they are, number one, and, and how aggressive they are. So um, what you're working in, look... I think a lot of it depends on your man by that is if it depends what the program is trying to drive. Mm -hmm. You've gone passive treatment and that'll be a really difficult conversation if you're, you know, if you're presenting a different philosophy than the rest of uh, are pushing, then that's, that's a pretty difficult um, what are some common misconceptions um, do you think when it goes with regards to injury mitigation uh, when developing athletes? Um, we're talking about manual therapy. Um, so, you know, the, you can out treat um, injuries. It's just my opinion. Like, I could be completely wrong, of course. Um, and it, it may well up, which I totally get, but it's it's just it's my experience and 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 my opinion. But treatment is or manual therapy in general doesn't have a great deal of injuries in 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 my mind. Now some guys need treatment, like I I do manual therapy, um, and I think for the right guy at the right time it, it can be beneficial. From different philosophies point of view, um, with the different sporting codes that you've seen, uh, yeah, what have you learned from from each sport, and and how do you go about applying that to the to the next sport that you work in? So I guess you're currently in soccer, but how did you, yeah, what have you learned from from working in rugby and AFL, and and how do you sort of bring that all together if you do uh, in your current trade at the A yeah, League club? Like it all just comes down to the demands of the games. So the injuries are all pretty similar. Um, you know, obviously the different code, different injuries, and, and you might get more hamstrings in one and more shoulders in another. Get are all pretty similar. But what the boys can carry in different codes 
it's exactly the same injury. League player might be able to carry it. AFL player can't. A soccer player might be able to. 